Hello everyone's everyone's. I am here for Basketball Wives Season 8 Episode 3. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, you're a family member, you're one of my peoples, welcome back. Y'all, Evelyn, she didn't have it up to here with Jennifer and all of her lives. She understands you lost your mom and you were grieving, but you're not going to use that as an excuse if the way you've been acting and all the lies you've been telling. Because when you was out here lying on my daughter, your mom was alive and well. So what was your excuse then? Just admit it. Just say I lied on Shawnee's because I was mad at Evelyn at the time. Admit that you was going around telling A, B, and C, and D that Evelyn did this, that, and the third with Shawnee's ex because you wanted Shawnee and Evelyn to be beefing with each other. Just go ahead and admit it. And stop with all this, oh, I am so in grief, that's why I'm acting like this, even though I was acting like this and making up lies before my mama passed away. We just not going to do that. We just not going to have it. And I'm like, Jennifer, just, just admit it. Because every time she gets, you know, she only, you know, films with Kristen and maybe Jackie. And she always wanted to twist it around like, I don't know what the big deal was. You know, Shaq was out here cheating in the first place. Ain't like I told a lie. She she ain't exactly proper herself. She did A, B, and C, D. She never wants to take responsibilities for her actions. She always wanted to deflect on things. And she's just not getting it right now. And I don't think she ever going to get it. And Kenny, he didn't have a massive heart, a massive stroke. So now he has to learn how to walk and talk over again. His whole left side is not working the way it's supposed to. Tammy, she's going through some things because she, at one point she did love this man. And he is the father of her children. So, and like seeing him like that, and he's, you know, he's not old, but like a stroke will take, can, you know, get anybody. A family friend, she had a stroke and she never recovered from it, uh, unfortunately. But we just going to keep on praying that Kenny is better. Later on, she has to have a conversation with her daughter because, like, you know, even though Kenny and Tammy's daughters, they don't have the best relationship, that is still their father. And now they're looking at, well, dang, mom, like, I couldn't imagine if something happened like you. You know, you already diabetic and you smoking and smoking can cause cancer, can cause problems to your heart. I didn't know up until like the last two years that you can like lose toes and fingers and can mess up your jaw and all that other stuff. All these smoking commercials. Like that shit want to, you know, make somebody not smoke all these commercials and show what like what's happening to people from smoking. So at one point, Tammy and her daughter, they go to a hypnotist to help her stop smoking. Me, I, I'm, I'm scared to go in place like that because I don't really know how that works and I don't want to be out here doing nothing crazy. But Tammy said that she just fell asleep. So she don't know if that's, you know, the hypnosis or she just fell asleep. So we just going to hope that Tammy, she's doing better with the smoking and getting that under control. And, you know, pray for Kenny. Make sure he has a full recovery. Now, OG, she's not really feeling that Cece and Kristen have mended fences. I'm like, why is that hurting you so much? I guess it's that when it's just, hurt, when it's just OG and Cece by themselves and talking, Cece is venting to her. And when she gets with everybody else, now we find out that y'all mending fences. Like, what's good? You done told me all your deepest darkest secrets. And now you're here with Malaysia and Jackie. Now it's a whole different thing. Like, what's good? But, um... Okay. Yeah, like just like I said, you didn't vent it to her. Now her and she's better, and they trying to mend fences and moving on. But I was like, yeah, that's gonna <laughs> turn out. It's gonna bite you in the butt, Cece, because you've been out here telling a little bit too much stuff, and now you didn't gave OG the ammunition to just blow everything up. Now we gonna move over to OG wanting to have a bobble butt. And Jackie is the willing participant participant to mold OG's booty. Jackie was ever so happy. She was only e also eager to go on mold OG's booty. You know that was a little like pregnant belly, belly cast. She wants Jackie to mold her booty so she can make this bobble booty doll to where you smack it, it jiggles. And Jackie, she was like, oh yes, I'm ready for this. She got the table out. She was ready. Jackie was like a hawk in heaven. And then OG get to telling her how she knows some things 
about Kirsten and all this, that, and the third. And Jack was like, you know, we need to all just get along. We are all basketball wise. And oh, you talking about some, are we? I'm like, boo, last time I checked, um, Kwame, he didn't exactly marry you. Or did y'all get married on the side like Jackie? Not Jackie, but like Tammy and Reggie did. Because I don't believe you are a basketball wife either so what was this are we basketball wives like you know something about somebody i know evelyn she been in the you know almost a basketball she was a football was almost a baseball player tammy at one point was basketball wife like the only person who was an actual basketball wife is uh what's her name jackie and kirsten cc i mean i guess she can't be a basketball wife because you know, Byron ain't playing no more. But like, y'all are not, uh, the majority of the cast are no longer, are not basketball wives. So I don't know what that little dig was about. But I did, I was thinking like, why is Kirsten so mad? Not Kirsten, but Cece is so like, her feelings towards Kirsten. And I remember last season when Jennifer was like, well, Kirsten, didn't you say that you and Cece, y'all wasn't really friends like that for real, for real? And she was talking about something. Well, it's kind of like a little surface situation. That was when, you know, she was steady, you know, backing off of her relationship with Cece. And I guess Cece felt like we was cool up until we got on the show and she got friends with somebody else. But my hope, I, I was hoping that Cece wasn't the way that she's being portrayed and is looking. But this, this episode showed me like, Cece, girl. Mm-mm. So speaking of which, Cece and Kirsten, they have just made up. Cece invited Kirsten to the engagement party, but Kirsten can't go because she's doing this like cancer walk with her mama. Everything is going good. And then Malaysia has to bring up how OG was rolling her eyes every time somebody said Kirsten. And she's like, what's good? Have you been telling OG? Have you been speaking bad about Kirsten when you were in the presence of OG? And she's like, nothing out of the ordinary, just normal stuff. I was like, uh-uh. You was telling her some things how you really, truly feel. I felt off a of camera and it's finna to go explode tonight and that's exactly what it did. OG just once Kirsten got there they wanna know what's good. Like why are you over what's what is your beef with Kristen? Well I feel that you're fake. You borrow Cece's clothes, you borrow her shoes, and on top of that, Byron ain't Thomas's daddy. You ain't basketball royalty for real, for real. You a fake girl. And I was like, what does that matter if Byron isn't Thomas's biological father in the first place? Because I have a cousin who was adopted. Now, I don't know how I knew as a young child that she was adopted and she was a grown woman and didn't know. But that hurt her to the core when she found out she was adopted because she had a little sister who was adopted and that little sister knew she was adopted because she got adopted when she was like nine years old. But the cousin I'm talking about, you know, she got adopted as a baby. So she was always talking about that little sister, like, hi, how you adopted? And it wasn't until, like, she was in her, like, 40s when she found out that she was adopted. And that hurt her to the core. But I was like, she was still family. Like, adopted or not, stepchild or not, you family. So why are you bringing this up, OG? Cece, you was wrong for telling OG that Byron isn't really um, Thomas's father. Like, maybe they didn't want the world to know. That's, that's, that's family business. And you over here talking about some, well, it's true. And I guess... She's over talking about some now Kirsten at this point, she's doggone trying to get people to get up off of her. She's, you know, trying to throw bows and she was like, I don't know why you're embarrassed to have a blended family. That's something to be celebrated. I don't know what's wrong with you. You should be ashamed of saying that they were bad grandparents when they weren't. I'm like, if he raised Thomas, that's his son. When Thomas had kids, them his grandkids, whether he stayed with Thomas's mom or not, them his grandkids. They family. That's his. That's Barbara's son, and that's Thomas's daddy. And you over here trying to blow up somebody's spot. And this when I was looking at Cece, I was like, see, Cece, I was hoping that you wasn't this evil, mean person, but it looks like you are. And Cece says, like, um, Cece says that Kirsten, um, that this OG did that to hurt Kristen and she don't know why Kirsten is acting all shocked and hurt because it's not like it's a secret. OG talking about something was all on Instagram and Cece told me. I'm like, Cece. Now Kirsten's like, I'm ready to fight Cece because you up here blasting my husband and his family like and I'm like, Cece, 
why would you tell OG and you don't even know OG like that? Some family secret, whether it was on Instagram or not. She didn't really need to know that and she need she didn't need to be telling the world like that. I don't care if it was all on Instagram. Like a lot of people ain't up there looking to see what y'all got going on. I shouldn't say it like that. But like that wasn't none of my business if Byron isn't um Thomas's biological father or not that they blended family that Thomas was however old when Byron got into the future. That's his son. He gave him his last name, didn't he? Ugh, I was just looking at CC and OG. OG's like, I'm just telling the truth. I was like, see, 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 you in the same situation that Jennifer found herself in out here telling folks business. But, you know, Jennifer, she was, you know, she was lying on her part. And you thought you opened up or telling OG something, but you knew OG, OG didn't like Kirsten. So you should have, you should have assumed at some point. That she was gonna get mad and not gonna tell all the truth. Like, this isn't the first reality TV show ever to exist in the, where you don't know the people get mad and get to telling folks business. I was so mad at OG and I was so mad at Cece because Cece was like, it's not like it's a secret. People know about it. I don't know why everybody's tripping. No, that's just ugly. That's just mean. Child, I, I had hopes that CC was just kind of gullible and kind of dim with it and, you know, all that stuff. But I was like, no, you, you, you a mean-spirited person. Now, granted, I still don't like Kirsten, but that was ugly because you was ever hurting. This is hurting Thomas, and this could hurt Byron. I don't even know how Byron feels about this, but it was just ugly in my opinion. So, y'all, that was basically the just. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It's free all day, every day, free 99. Make sure your notifications are on so when my beautiful face puts up a new video, you know about it. If you're returning, you a family member, you one of my people, welcome back. Tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my people. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.